Hey guys, welcome back to another episode on the Affinity Craft SMP. Uh, you might notice something a little different about me today. I am back in Diamond Gear. So I did a stream yesterday, I was gathering materials for this build, for this video, and I was all excited, and after the stream was over, I, I, I don't even know what I was thinking, but I walked away from my computer while I was down in my mines. And a slime spawned in while I was gone from my computer and killed me. So yeah, that happened. I'm a little upset about that. I'm, I'm, I'm salty today. So I spent the rest of yesterday afternoon gearing back up and I'm almost got it. I've got to put this on my uh, leggings and I've got to put... S I feel like I needed silk touch on something else, but I guess I, I went ahead and got that. Um, I need to get my bow back and, and take care of that. And at some point I have to make this build. So while I'm waiting for these people to start working again. Let me show you what I am, like where I'm gonna do this. So far this month, I whoops, I have been doing, um, you know, fall, autumn, October related things, like the Nether Island. And today, um, I, I need, more storage. Where am I going? I gotta go inside here. I mean, technically I could use this whole room for storage, but I, I want to decorate it a little bit more. And this, this isn't cutting it. So I decided I was going to build something outside here that would fit in with the theme of like my giant lily pads and uh, just the overgrown type feel of this place and I have all the stuff that I need in here so I'm gonna have two builds I think and uh, one of them is gonna go right here the other one is going to go over here where that tree and those cocoa beans and these chickens currently are because they need to go I, I want, I, these guys need to go. I don't have any place, that I, like I don't really need chickens, nor do I need their eggs right now. I could move them back over there, That that is something I could do, because they don't really need a lot of space. But, that is my plan for today, uh, but first I, I've got to get my bow and my leggings done and just generally be back up to speed. Now I obviously don't have netherite and that makes me sad but I can go searching for netherite again again. I feel like I've been doing that a lot lately but it's not just on this server that I've lost stuff. I, I died and lost my stuff on the journey server too so this just seems to be the way that that my fall is going. Anyway, they're working again, so I'm going to do some trading with them and get some levels, and I will see you when I have something more to show.
haven't started moving any of the stuff into it yet, but I do have the shape. I am much happier with this one than the one that we ended up doing for the MHC. If you haven't seen that one yet, uh, I, I would... It, it's interesting. We had to make a bouncy house, so the floor is slime blocks. But this is going to be our new storage for pumpkins and melons because that storage down there just was not adequate. So I am going to keep moving some stuff in, but that is what we're looking at. It's got little windows on all the sides. I debated whether to take those out, but I don't know. I, I think I like having them here. It doesn't, I mean, I could put chests around it and barrels and stuff. Like, I could put more storage in here, but for now, this will do what it needs to do, and then I've got the crafting table to make the melon slices into melons. So, that's project one done. Now it's time to get to project number two. I am going to attempt to build a custom tree. And my inspiration is the jacaranda tree. And so we're gonna we're gonna see how this goes. I, I played with this a little bit in a creative test world, so we'll see. I, I, I decided not to use like a schematic or anything, um, just to kind of, you know, freeform it, make it a little more randomized. Uh, I want that. Uh, this may become a problem. And I am going to need scaffolding. Where's my scaffolding? I hope I have enough acacia wood. That's the other thing is that I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm going to have enough. I liked the gray. Whoops. Um, actually... That can come out, and that can come out. That can stay. I played around... Uh, I, yeah, hmm, I'm not sure. Now I need to be careful how I place these, because they're... Directional. I liked the acacia wood because of the gray. All right. And then I think we'll have branch coming out this way and nobody seems to be sleeping all right I don't want them all to be the same height so I think we'll bring that one up one more uh oh okay yeah we should be good we should be good all right all right I'm liking that so far I think I think this is a good shape for a tree. It looks a little... oops. Hmm. If he has too many uppy bits, what do you think? Eh. Like, staircases up. I'm not sure. Maybe... Bring this one down. And across instead of up.
I mean, it's going to have a little bit of that, like, cup shape, just naturally. Uh, maybe what we can do... All right, so I think I might... Maybe bring another branch out like this. I don't know if that helps the whole cup shape, but... Oh, you know what? I like this idea. I think I'm going to bring it up one. So from here, we will go like that. All right, so I have at least some in the cardinal directions. Let's fill that in. I'm also going to take that one out. Okay, this is interesting. All right, now for the fun part. Again, jacaranda is known for purple leaves, and I don't know anything else about it except that it's got purple leaves. Like, I, I'm planning on putting some water down here at the base. It may be not a great idea in terms of realism, but, um, I mean, of course, plants that don't actually exist, and, you know, nether trees, and giant mushrooms. So, you know, the, we're, we're just going to suspend disbelief here because we can. It's Minecraft. We can make whatever we want. And this just happens to be a fantasy type realm. Uh, let's... This is going to be super fun when I put the crystals on. Isn't it? Way easier to do in creative when I could just fly around and not have to worry about falling like that. So this is this is my first ever custom tree in survival. I'm not counting the one I made in creative just a few minutes ago as a test, <laughs> just because it's, you know, creative. And it's also a little bit different because these aren't typical leaves, so you can't see through them, which makes it a little more... I don't know, I, I'm, I'm trying not to make it too much in terms of the the blockiness but I also need to cover the branches because leaves would cover the branches at least somewhat I'm trying to keep them no nope, no nope, I don't want that there I'm trying to keep them away from the trunk as much as possible because, you know, the trunk is not going to have leaves. Alright, I think that looks good so far. Oh wait, I need to get this side. Oops. Let's put an extra one there. Maybe there. All right, all right. So far, so good. 
this is also going to require a uh, flyby because I am not 100% sure how this is going to look. Or land on a really far but tall tree so I can get a better look. Okay, that's not awful. I think I want another amethyst block there. And let's see. Oh, I can't really see it from this area. How does it look from here? Not terrible. Not terrible. And of course we're doing this all in stages, so... Actually, let's come up here. Oh. <laughs> let's slam into the basket. Again. Alright. Alright, I like how that looks from this area. This, or this angle. This right here needs a little bit more leafery all right all right i'm quite happy with how this is looking so far can i get there <gasps> no no i cannot all right um i said i wanted one there and then this needed a little bit more and then i think we could call it done well not done done but done with this part And I definitely needed some more of the clusters, too, so this is actually good. There's some large ones in here, which is nice. Some medium. And then I didn't harvest all of them before, so I should have quite a few of the large ones still laying around. Let's come over here and look at it. Oh, that scared me! <sighs> oh yeah. I am liking how that looks. It's so magical! Okay, so we like it from that angle. I think I like it from this angle, too. Let's park ourselves right here. We may have to do something about these azalea trees. But I like the shape from this angle. Nice, nice. Can't really see it from this angle because of the giant spruce tree and the giant mushroom, which may or may not have to go. And that, whoops. And then other than my scaffolding, which has to disappear. I like it from this angle, too. Uh, probably want an end rod there and a crystal there, though. Oh. Uh, yeah. Two crystals and an end rod. All right, end rod here. Crystal and scaffolding in my ha in my hand. 
and crystal there. Oh yeah. I like how that looks quite a bit. <laughs> We have an added bonus that I had not anticipated doing, uh, but once I started doing it up around the uh, tree, I, um, well, I wanted to keep going. So, I, with the exception of the sandy areas and the podzol areas, I have eliminated torch spam. And I've added, well, I haven't done that side, but I added uh, some moss, some moss blocks, some of the moss carpet, and we are minus torch spam, again, except for where there is podzol because I can't make moss kind of blend in as well. But here's our tree. This is what it ended up looking like. I added a couple other... Uh, things I added some of the glow berries. I added some of the the roots. I still want to get some glow lichen, and I don't know that I have any, so I'm going to have to go get some and bone meal it. But we've got uh, little amethyst down here. We've got the drip leaf. We've got some sea cucumbers to add some light down here. Not that we really need it in the water, but still. And then I bone mealed some moss around this area to get some azalea bushes and some extra grass, and there's actually a little too much grass. I want it to look uh, like unkept, but not chaotic. And tall grass, or double tall grass, absolutely has to go. So yeah, this is, uh, let's do another flyby. That is our amethyst tree. I think it looks great, actually. I, I think it, it really makes this area come to life. Um, I, I may have to do some more custom trees. I really enjoyed doing this. Uh, more so than I expected to. I, I have always been really intimidated by custom trees. So if you are like me and you have been intimidated in the past, uh, 
now is as good a time as any to give it a try, see how it goes. And with that, I'm going to say goodbye. Guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I appreciate you, and I will see you next time.